Good evening and welcome everyone to experience the Tao calligraphy healing field. Um, I have a, the great honor tonight of being with you uh, from a different location, still in Vancouver, but it's a different location. Um, <clears throat> so I did a video this afternoon on Facebook because I wanted to share with everybody. Um, we have created a program called Walking for Love, Peace and Harmony. So this program really came out of the pandemic, to be very honest. Um, after quarantine for 14 days, we can't go out, can't do, can't go out, can't do anything, can't go, can't even go buy groceries. Um, I started to walk. I just needed to break up my days because otherwise it's just one long day of being in, uh, in an apartment. So I started walking and I remember from my experiences in San Francisco that you can, um, that, that what you want to do is you want to walk and chant at the same time because as I was guided by one of my uh, spiritual teachers, when we walk, we are imprinting our Shen Qi Jing, our so hard mind and body is leaving an imprint on the ground. If we're talking, we're leaving an imprint in the sound, right? The sound waves. And so by singing, for instance, love, peace and harmony, you are imprinting the message of love, peace, and harmony with every footstep. You're chanting, you are putting the sound out. So I've been doing this now for over a year, uh, over a year, it's, it's been over a year now. And I've learned a lot actually about doing this. So um, why am I sharing this with you today? Because we're in British Columbia, beautiful British Columbia, but we are experiencing uh, very severe natural disasters. This is Mother Earth's transition. This is purification of Mother Earth. Mother Earth is absorbing just as you know, I just mentioned, if we walk, we put our foot on the ground, we're singing love, peace and harmony, we're leaving an imprint of love, peace and harmony. But you are angry, you're fearful, you're scared, you're vindictive, you're competitive, um, you're greedy. That imprint goes into Mother Earth. Our unpleasant, our negativities, our unpleasant thoughts, our unpleasant emotions, our unpleasant actions, all of those leave an imprint. Mother Earth, we carry it. Mother Earth carries some of it as well. War. Mother Earth carries that. Famine. Mother Earth carries that. How many wars have we had on Mother Earth? I don't believe it's an accident. The timing of the discoveries of these um, unmarked tombs, unmarked mass graves, not tombs, but mass graves uh, from um, the residential schools. Now there's flooding. It's a wake up. These are huge wake up calls, huge, huge wake up calls. They are, um, they should be, if they aren't already, causing us to go in deep to go inside ourselves, to ask the question, why? Why is this happening on Mother Earth? 
Why is this happening in British Columbia? It's so bucolic here. It is, it is beyond Norman Rockwell in terms of, in terms of the, the beauty, the sheer beauty uh, in British Columbia. So why is this happening? If everyone here is so nice, why is this happening here? We can spend days, years, centuries, lifetimes, billions of lifetimes asking why. But what I love about Master Shah is that Master Shah empowers us. From the night that I met him, he empowered me and I was sure he was so wrong. I was dead sure he was wrong when he said, I have the power to heal myself. You have the power to heal yourself. Together we have the power to heal the world. 21 years later, I know this to be true with every fiber of my being. If we come together, we can change anything. I work with people who have life-threatening conditions. I work with people who are on the edge of hopelessness. But when we come together, just the, the, the individual, the client, myself, now there's two of us. Now we can um, restore hope. We can borrow each other's hope. So when we come together as a community, not just one-on-one, -on -one, but as a community, there's a lot that can happen. So this is the beauty of what Master Shah is doing. So if you understand Tao science, you, you've heard Dr. Rulin and Master Shah talk about quantum entanglement. If we come together, we sing love, peace, and harmony. Our hearts are now joined together through this event. If we do this together and we organize ourselves to sing love, peace, and harmony or any other mantra, on a, on a daily basis, our hearts will come together, but we will come together with Mother Earth. We will join forces with Mother Earth to uplift, to help her purify, to help her release all the pollution. Because she cannot hold on to that much pollution. She's overwhelmed, so she's purging. She's purging. What Master Shah teaches is that flooding is greed. Greed. Your desire for more, more, more. I want more, more, more hold on to it. I can't think of the name of it when you're holding on to something. You're holding on to things. You don't, you don't let them flow. Just hold on to them. Um, hoarding. Hoarding. Um, so you, we need to create flow. This is why walking for peace, every time I talk about this program, this is why walking for peace is so important. So what I want to do is I want to share with you some videos. I want to share with you the process, and I want to enroll you in joining us in Walking for Peace every single day. And I wanted to show you actually some pictures um, that I took a year ago, because I went walking, no matter what happened, I walked last year, every single day. If it, it was monsooning, it didn't matter. I, you know, I just got a bigger umbrella and uh, higher boots. Um, but I walked, and I walked in the snow, and I walked in the rain, um, because that connection to Mother Earth is a connection not only to Mother Earth, but it's a connection to the entire galaxy, right? Because Mother Earth is part of a galaxy. And and it, it, can go, it goes further, but I want to start first by, by um, giving you some background, right? So I told you already, it came out of the pandemic. I'm, re, um, I'm spending tonight 
um, focusing on this because we are facing a situation and we need your help. We have several people that are already doing this and we have people who are um, uh, walking um, uh, every day. And I want to just show you um, a short video that um, Sarah created today. Um, so this, I'll just talk over. So this is walking for love, peace, and harmony. And you can walk anywhere. You can walk by the ocean. I think this is up in uh, North Van or West Van, yeah. You can walk on the trails. I think this is by, uh, this is in Abbotsford. This I think is in North Van, the uh, Capilano Trail. You can walk lakes, rivers, which people are doing. These are photographs. And you can just walk in your neighborhood. You can walk in the residential areas. You can walk in the commercial areas. Uh, you can walk in the mountains. This is our very own Barb Friesen. Yeah. What is important is that you make a commitment and you walk every day. Because we can change the frequency and vibration of what's happening in British Columbia one footstep at a time, one note at a time. So I, I'm, I'm sitting, I'm not at the center. So I want to invite you to stand and walk if you're able to do this. I want you to stand and walk in your own space. You have, don't have to have a lot of space. Because what we didn't do is, um, I actually have a photograph that someone sent me. They walk in their backyard. They have trees and um, they have, um, I can't remember the name of the trees, but they have a special kind of tree and they have some, uh, they have a garden. And so they asked me, can I walk my garden and chant love, peace, and harmony for these trees and for whatever's in the garden? And the answer was yes. So you don't even have to leave your own house. You just walk out to the backyard and walk. Why? I want you to stand and, and do this with me. So get up and uh, get up. And then before you just be just stand and then before you take a step, close your eyes, put one hand or, or both hands over your lower abdomen. Visualize golden light in your lower abdomen, your lower dantian. Feel your breath already gets deeper. Put the tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth. Make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. Soften your knees just a little bit. Feel your connection. Can you feel your connection to Mother Earth? Reach down. Really reach down with your feet. Feel that make that con make that contact with Mother Earth. Reach down to the heart of Mother Earth and straighten your spine, reach up. Reach for the heart of heaven. Heaven, Mother Earth, human being, and the Tao, Tao is in your Ming Men point. Join as one as you walk and chant. So we're going to do an invocation. So dear divine, dear Tao, dear source, the ultimate creator and source. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Dear Mother Earth, Dear everyone and everything on my path, it doesn't matter that you're in your 
living room, dining room, your office. It doesn't matter. You may be in the kitchen. It doesn't matter. Because we're all connected, heart to heart, soul to soul. You know, heart math. Years and years and years ago, I talked to them. They said they could measure the change in frequency and vibration in a location when there was an event happening in, in that location. We were talking to them about doing something when Master Shah did a Love, Peace, Harmony concert. So, they're, um, so they measure it. They can measure the change in Mother Earth, you know, when something like that happens. Yeah. So we are connected. Why? Because we're all connected. Because it's all about frequency and vibration. We chant here. You chant in your living room, in your dining room, in your kitchen. We're changing the frequency in the entire universe. So make a connection. Dear the Tao calligraphy, sorry, dear the uh, love, peace, harmony, soul song, dear the soul of everyone and everything on my path, join me. Join me in chanting to create a field of love, peace, and harmony on Mother Earth. I am so grateful. And then walk. Feel your feet as they touch the ground. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace and harmony lula lula li lula lula la li lula lula li lula lula li lula lula li lula i love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Really make a connection. Each footstep Make that connection with Mother Earth. You are giving love. You are receiving love. When you're outside, why, why was it so important? This man asked me about the garden and the backyard. Because that's, for him, this is where he puts his love, is in those trees and those plants. Yeah. Now he's really giving them love. Because he's, Andy, I think he has one of those Love, Peace, Harmony um, solar uh, players that you can put into the ground. Continue to sing and chant. Sorry, sing and walk. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join heart and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony lula lula li lula lula li lula lula li lula Lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Of peace and harmony. 
love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, li. Lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li. Continue to chant and connect. The key is your connection. Are you connecting heart to heart, soul to soul as you walk? So what I've learned is that when you do this every day, when you do this every day, you're changed. You're going to be changed. I want to play something for you because Sarah created this, this beautiful video. Uh, let me see if I can... I can um, share the screen. Um, but you keep chanting and walking while I figure the technology out, don't? And, and singing. Lula, lula, li, lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula, lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Okay, how come I cannot do this? Lula, lula, li. Lula. It's not letting me share that. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How? So, the seven of you that are brand new, that are not part of the team that's here, um, I would love to hear from you on live stream. What did you experience? And then we'll open it up. So, Sarah, let's start with you. Um, well, you know, it was interesting because um, as I was walking around this particular room that I'm in, um, it is uh, it's partially under underground. And I just got thinking about, uh, you know, all the layers of life in the uh, in the earth, but on the other side of the walls there and what it is that I that I walk on every day that I walk around on every day. And I mean, I don't know, um, you know, this where where we live, this house is built into kind of an old riverbed. It's a little ravine. And so there's obviously lots of maybe fish life or other kinds of sea life, water life 
uh, fossils and things that did live here at one time. And so I was just connecting with the energy of all of that. And I haven't, haven't done that before in thought, thought in terms of what am I actually, who am I actually walking on? And so connecting with them and sending them love. And yeah, it was a, it was a very interesting experience. Thank you very much for that. This, if you do this the way that I'm talking about right now, it changes you. You will never walk the same again. You will never walk on Mother Earth the same again. Because you're aware. Like right now, you have an awareness of where you are. You're on this ravine. There's this all this um, river life, sea life that is, is or was present there. It changes you. You cannot go back and pretend you didn't know you, that you don't have this awareness anymore. And so when you walk on the beach, you have a different awareness. When you walk on the trail, you have a different awareness. You have a different connection. And you become aware of what are you thinking what are you, what, 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 because you realize you're putting that out into the space. You're putting that, you're leaving an imprint of that conversation, that email, that project. It's being imprinted on Mother Earth. It matters. It matters. And what we want to do is we want to leave an imprint of love. I talk to the flowers. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says anymore. I talk to the flowers. I'm like, oh my God, look at how beautiful you are. I know when I come back around next time around, even bright, they're going to be shining even brighter. The light inside of them turns on. If someone saw them. Someone saw them. There is an awareness. There is a connection. A heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul connection. Even if you can't see them, you now have a heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul connection. Yeah? You know, it's very, very heart-opening. Because, uh-huh. uh, obviously, it... it you know, when you make that connection with that one particular step, then you realize that no matter where you step, that you're connected, you know, so that automatically it brings in this awareness of the total connection of the oneness of everything, because I could walk anywhere, I could, you know, I could swim like Barb does, I could walk in the mountains, and, um, you know, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, we touch one place, and we touch every place. So exactly, exactly. <laughs> Well, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. I'm so happy. I'm happy for you. I'm very happy for you. Because it changes you. It changed me. And then I watched every person that I enrolled in doing this. How do I know that it changed them? Because I could see the change in their pictures. I could see the heart. I could see the heart opening as the awareness um, um, grew, as their connection grew. The pictures change. Okay, let me ask um, Cynthia. Being in this space, um, I actually, I also uh, talk to the plants, uh, say hello to the ficus. <laughs> It's flourishing. Um, but I found, actually, with chanting this song in this space, I found um, myself dancing. So my feet were touching the ground, but I was, I was dancing. I could, you know, this, the song itself is just so joyful. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. It's so heart opening. And so that's what I found myself. My feet were cut, touching the ground, but they were dancing. My soul was guiding me to dance. Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah. Um, Let me ask, because we have a couple of other people. 
I I just love Mother Earth and uh, I do that as well. I walk and chant. And uh, it was yesterday I was walking by the beach and I saw pot of porcuses mm. and I chanted like it's in harmony. And I didn't realize that in the moment, but in the evening when I was doing like a review of my day, I realized that that was actually the most important moment of my day. And it was the first moment of my day. So it made my day totally different. And it was, and when I looked back, I actually realized it was moment of love, peace and harmony. Because I felt the stillness, I felt the peace in my heart. And it was just such a beautiful moment, those moments which stay in the heart forever. Mm. So, so I feel that love, peace and harmony when we do that. And when we did the practice with you tonight, I could really feel as I did the step, I could feel the resonance going deep into Mother Earth, going that sound goes into her. So thank you so much. It's a really beautiful practice. Thank you so much. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you for sharing. So I know you, you're, you're one of the people that's doing a Love, Peace, Harmony uh, group. And um, you chant for different, uh, uh, different aspects of Mother Earth. Um, you're going to find, you're going to find that, that your connection to Mother Earth is going to get very, very deep, very, very quickly. Beautiful. Um, Barb, did you want to share? Because I am outdoors quite a bit, and I I both a runner and a swimmer in cold water, I feel very connected to Mother Earth in a very profound way. It really um, it's so physical for me. Mm -hmm. It moves me to tears sometimes. Just how the just the physicality of it, and just the beauty of just being in in kind of synchronicity with Mother Earth because I can do that physically. It feels very profound to me. And so I have to do it. I have to do it every day. It's just, it's just a need that I have. And uh, it's just, it's a, it's a beautiful connection. That is, I, I just, it's just very profound. Love it. So thank you, Barb. Yeah. And Monique. I am so happy that you did this experience because I don't have always have the time to spend, you know, to, to go out sometimes in a day and, and to feel that connection that you have with Mother Earth was just the way you speak about walking wherever we are. And I actually never thought of walking in my apartment and making a connection with Mother Earth. And when I walk today, it was like, wow. I had a different awareness that wherever I am, in my office, in wherever I am, I can make that connection. And I will never walk in my apartment the same way. No, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. The same way. You you won't walk anywhere the same way, because once you really understand that you are exchanging love, that um, you won't be able to pound on Mother Earth. You won't be able to, you know, I was a power walker. That pounding is going to hurt you because you know it's hurting Mother Earth. You can feel it. You listen to Barb. She has such reverence for Mother Earth, right? I listen to her. I listen to Yitka, both of them. One of the things that, uh, as I listen to both of them, what I hear is the effortlessness in their connection to Mother Earth. That effortlessness is love, peace, and harmony. They don't have to do anything. She didn't have to organize. Okay, let me chant. I want to see porpoises today. I want to see five of them come up. I want to, they have to be here because I'm going to be there by this time. There was no organizing, no planning, no strategizing, no nothing. It was an effortless 
It was an effortless um, heart-to-heart connection. There was no requirement, no, not even a request on any level made um, for, that, for that to occur. That's, what, that's also what Barb is talking about. She says that she calls it synchronicity, right? But it's, it's more than synchronicity. It's more than synchronicity. It's simply having an open heart. And you have to have, you have to have, though, respect for Mother Earth. Because if you have it, then the connection is effortless. Walking for love, peace, and harmony helps you to develop that. You might have it to some degree. I had it to some degree. But by walking every single day, by making that connection, so what's what, this is what Barb said, right? She said, I can't, um, I can't not walk. I can't not swim. I have to have, every day I have to be out uh, connecting, physically connecting with Mother Earth. Because her heart is that open to Mother Earth. So when we, as, when we as a society do this, the impact on Mother Earth will be huge. This is what the shamans, these is, this is what the kahunas, this is what all of the um, ancient traditions, what did they have? They had great respect for Mother Earth. Great love, respect for Mother Earth. And they made time every day to connect with Mother Earth. They made time every day to connect with heaven, with the Tao, with the source. What Monique said takes it, um, takes it to a different level. She's saying, I don't always have time. I would say yes and no. If you want to breathe Mother Earth's air, you need to make the time. Ten minutes a day. That's all it takes. Ten minutes a day. Actually, Master Shah is asking us to chant for 15. 15 minutes a day. That's just one walk around the block. That's it. That's all you have to do. But you will accomplish so much in those 15 minutes. You will connect with all these souls. You don't even know because they're on your path. It's open-ended. My shortest walk is 12 minutes. And I don't have time for anything else. I know exactly where I'm going. 12-minute walk. 12 minutes there, 12 minutes back. I know exactly (laughs) where I'm going. I'm still chanting. I'm still connecting to Mother Earth. So let's hear from people. I don't... um, Okay, so Nisha says, so grateful. Oh, so grateful for this teaching. Thank you, Jimena. Gratitude, Melissa, good evening from Tennessee. Good evening, Melissa. Welcome, Shirley. Lisa, oh, that's our Lisa. Beautiful pictures, okay. All right, so let's continue to chant. I invite you to continue. To if I stand up, all you're going to see is the wall um, because I, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm, not at a, I'm not someplace where the camera can move around me, um, following me as I'm walking around in this uh, empty space. It's, it's actually quite, quite empty except for uh, some um, some calligraphies. Um, but I invite you to stand and walk again. Make a connection. So always say hello. So dear soul of everyone and everything on my path, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. 
Dear the soul, let's all chant. I invite you to sing love, peace, and harmony with me. To create a powerful field of love, peace, and harmony for Mother Earth, for everyone and everything on Mother Earth. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. 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 Lula, Hurling, why, Chuan Rene? Wan Ling Rong, Hamu Shi Shang, Shang I Ping, An Her Shay, Shang I Ping, An Her Shay. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. So maybe you know uh, love, peace, and harmony in a different language. You chant it in your own language. Like Yitka maybe chants it in Czech, um, Monique can chant in Cree, Sarah, I think she chants in Scottish. And of course they chant in French. I love my heart and soul. I love all you. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Okay, what did you experience this time? We're gonna do two more practices because I want you to feel I want you to feel the difference when you do a couple of other things. Yeah. So what did you experience this time? Sarah, let's start again with you. <laughs> um yeah, no, it was great because actually I started to get some messages from the creatures. 
Ah, that were there and yeah. um, um, you know so grateful for the acknowledgement um, of uh, recognizing you know that they were a part of the environment and also um, very happy that um, to be chanting love peace and harmony together um, because um, you know where I where I live it's right on a creek and these rains have you know, the creek has been, I've never seen it run that high, actually. It's mm. almost up to the top of where the retra retraining, retaining wall is. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, I'm, I, I really appreciate the singing Love, Peace and Harmony and the creatures and the, even, even, not, even not the insects and, and the fossils of the animals and those things, but even the earth itself you know, the, the soil itself uh, is grateful because um, everything is affected by the rains right now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, the, and they all want balance. They all want everything mm -hmm. to come back to, to harmony again. So there was a lot of a feeling of um, gratitude for the connection, the acknowledgement, and gratitude for the singing of love, peace, and harmony as well. Mm -hmm. Just wait, I've got two more practices that we're gonna do. Uh, and we'll take this to a different level. Anybody else who'd like to share? Anyone else? Yes, I would. Yes, Monique, please. Yes, this time actually, I was thinking, what's what's in my neighborhood? What is around this building? And sometimes I walk, but I haven't, I haven't been singing to a birch tree that really needs more love, and so. I had a greater awareness for that tree, a very, very old birch tree. And it's always, the manager always says, well, we've got to cut it down, got to cut it down. And it's right in front of my balcony. And I, I know from inside, I see it, I love it. But I need to sing for the birch tree. I will now sing for, for all, all around the building. If I will take that 10 minutes, go around the, the and sing for the trees around it. Some are really old. And so that was an increased awareness for everything around that I don't have to go so far. And I can, I can, everything is connected. And the whole, as Sarah said, the whole underground is connected. So they're all connected. So if I sing in my neighborhood, I sing for Mother Earth and further and further and further beyond. Thank you. Thank you. So here's what here's what you're going to here's what you're going to discover Monique. What if you sing to every leaf on every tree? Every time the leaves are shaking, what are they sharing? Love, peace, harmony. Think about that. How many leaves are there? How many branches are there? How many birds are there? In my neighborhood, there's hundreds. <laughs> it sounds like it. It's six o'clock in the morning. Sounds like there's hundreds of birds um, on the trees, you know, <laughs> and they're loud. So you're just thinking ground, but you're going to come to the realization that the universe is vast. Our world is small. Our, our world, our framework inside of us is small. Barb uh, Friesen, she's in the ocean. I said to her, Barb, what do you do in the ocean? She said, well, <laughs> when she started going in, she said, I'm just trying to breathe. I said, well, why don't you start, well, why don't you see what happens if you start to chant <laughs> while you're in there freezing? Now what does she do? She chants the Dabe Joe. Every drop of water in the ocean is being nourished by her chanting the Dabe Jo. Just like every leaf on the trees is being nourished by, you know, by my chanting. Those leaves are raked there, you know, some of them are, are left to, to de decompose into the ground. That's nourishment. Doesn't matter where they go. They're going to bring that love, peace, and harmony where they go next. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Okay, anybody else? I see Cynthia sitting there with a plant on her lap. So I know she wants to share. I've never seen Cynthia with a plant on her lap. <laughs> Meet peace, Lily. <laughs> As I was chanting and, and walking around, the field around this plant, there were, there's, there's two others actually. The field just got stronger. It's just amazing. Um, and this plant is just flourishing. I'm playing Love, Peace, and Harmony 24-7, of course, but it got extra attention tonight, so thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Second time, mm -hmm. I actually realized that I'm paying more attention to things around me in my home. And as I was chanting with more love and joy in my heart, I got uh, actually that joy back from Mother Earth, and I ended up dancing and be really joyful. So thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so I just see a couple of comments here. I won't go too far with this. So I see um, Lydia um, posted, greater awareness of connectedness to everything around me. Anna, I connected with consciousness of old photos going into places where time doesn't exist. Yeah. Oh, great. Um, so um, I invite you to stand one more time. So dear the soul of everyone and everything on my path, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. I invite you to uh, sing Love, Peace, and Harmony with me. To offer your greatest love to everyone and everything. Dear the soul of Mother Earth in British Columbia, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please forgive me Please forgive my ancestors for the mistakes we have made, for the pollution that has caused you so much distress, so much pain and suffering. I deeply and sincerely apologize. And this time, let's connect to your all souls in British Columbia. If you're in a different, different province, dear all souls in um, whatever province you're in, Ontario. If you're in a state, Tennessee, invite all souls in your state or in your province to join you in chanting Love, Peace, and Harmony. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. 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 lula, 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 Hurling, why chuan relay? One ling rong, hamu shi shang, shang ai ping, an hu shi, shang ai ping, an hu shi. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. 
join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony lula lula li lula lula la li lula lula li lula lula li lula lula li I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula. Did you experience this time? Um, uh, this time I looked in my uh, with my third eye, and first of all, I was looking at uh, you know just uh, all the souls that were in the environment in my house, inside and outside my house, and then uh, it zoomed into sort of a, a, a deeper level to the cellular level, and then it went down into. Uh, even the smaller parts. And then I saw, uh, I was recommended uh, by Lydia actually yesterday, 
to watch a movie called Fantastic Fungi. And it talks about the, the, the uh, I think it's called mitochondria, that actually fungus is what holds Mother Earth together. And so it, it makes a huge, amazing network underground. So I was uh, singing to the souls of this, this amazing network that, that really connects everything mm-hmm. on Mother Earth to sing. And uh, it was lighting, it was just lighting up, you know, every time I sang, it, was, it would zzz, 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 and, and light up with the rainbow light. And I really like to do that. I'm going to do that more often to connect down at that level because that is connect, that really does interconnect everything on Mother Earth. So that was what my experience was. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? Who wants to share? Yes. Yamunique. Thank you, Jimena. Well, this is this was very interesting that uh, Sarah talked about the roots because I thought, you know, the lands, the s- slides, and we've uprooted, we've uprooted so many areas, and I was I was going deeper and deeper in the, into the the underground, and I, I was like, what can we do? I was asking Mother Earth, what can we do? And then the answer, of course, is send me love, <laughs> send me love, and. But, you know, I connected with the pain. So there was joy, but there was pain. I, I connected with also the Chiriwak area, Abbotsford area, who suffer. And so for me, it was it, it was both. It was pain and it was, okay, chan, chan, chan. And we can help. We can help each other. Mother Earth, I'm helping you. You're helping me. So that was a an interesting experience it inside of me like joy and pain at the same time mm-hmm. but it's the song helps to rebalance pain and joy together so what master shah is asking us to do thank you monique is to focus on the outcome we focus on the um creating a world of love peace and harmony we don't want to connect um with a lot of love and respect we don't want we don't want you to connect with the pain you already have pain so um then the more we connect with more we connect with pain of mother earth you get overwhelmed with pain so the practice as, as master shah teaches us is for us to bring love uh peace and harmony to any uh, and all aspects of life because that is um, the ultimate outcome is for us not to be carriers of pain, but instead to be the presence of love, peace, and harmony. Not um, Pain is a human experience, and he's guiding us to go beyond that. He's guiding us to be able to serve humanity and all souls, to go above, beyond pain, human pain, not, not, I'm not dismissing human pain. He, we are teaching you how to transform it, not connect with it, but how to transform it. Because it's in the transformation of pain that we uh, stop creating pollution. So pain is pollution. And so the best is for us always, this, this basic master shah's basic teachings we always we connect to the outcome the outcome is a world of love peace and harmony we hold that in our hearts and what i'm teaching you is how to bring that beyond your heart how to connect i taught you how to connect i I started you by connecting you with for instance just the souls in the space that you're walking in right now your kitchen, your dining room, your living room, your bedroom. Maybe you're in. Maybe you're in a. Uh, you know, sitting on the porch. Who knows? Um, sitting in the backyard. Then I asked you to then expand that, and then we connected with the souls in, um, uh, um, like in your neighborhood. All the souls 
in your neighborhood, then you can expand that to connect, for instance, with all the souls in the state or province you're in. So for us, we're connecting. We want to connect with British Columbia. All souls in British Columbia. So the last practice, let's connect with one ling. Master Shah says, never chant love, peace, and harmony alone. Never chant just for yourself. Always connect. Connect with other souls. And if you can, you can connect with one ling. One ling is all souls, all universes. So dear um, one ling, all souls, all universes. Dear Mother Earth, countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes, I love you. I honor you. I deeply, deeply appreciate you. I invite you to sing love, peace, and harmony with me. To create a universe, to, cre to create love, peace, and harmony on Mother Earth, all universes, all galaxies, I love my heart and soul. And I invite you to walk. There is something different that happens when you're sitting and chanting and when you're walking and chanting. It's a different experience. It is a, a visceral experience. It's a, a physical experience. It's what Barb said earlier, right? And she said, I have to do, I have to connect physically with Mother Earth. I have to walk. I have to swim. I need to Feel, physically feel that connection. I love all humanity. Join hearts and soul together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo, ai, wo, xing, ha, ling, wo, I I love my heart and so I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li. I love my heart and soul. 
I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula, lula, li. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's see what um, I invite you to post on uh, live stream uh, your experience this time. Okay. So I want to also invite you um, as you are posting. I want to invite you to join us. Make a commitment. And join us every day to sing, to walk for love, peace, and harmony. To help us to create a field of love, peace, and harmony. You may not be at a point where you're ready to start holding a love, peace, harmony group, but you can absolutely serve Mother Earth and humanity 10 to 15 minutes a day. I want to share uh, a video Sarah created. I think it's uh, it's number three, huh? The titles actually don't match the the title of the video doesn't match what's happening what 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 is shown in the video. But I just want to share this with you, anyways. Here's why: because I want you to know that um, it won't take long for you to be able to put a to put a video together like this. All right, so watch this. Walking for peace. There's no sound, no, no music yet. Creating love, peace, and harmony. And this is Suzanne's, in Suzanne's part of the world. So this is Suzanne's video. These are some of the pictures that she took over the last year. So for those of you that don't know, Suzanne is a highly accomplished, highly respected um, stained glass artist, very well known. This is Barb's video. She had to leave, I think, huh? She has some videos, um, some photographs that were just stunning. So there's Barb every morning in the ocean singing the Dabejo to the ocean. And then she's She's trekking up Grouse Mountain. This is my uh, some of the uh, images from the neighborhood where I where I walk. I think that's the end of it, huh? Yeah. So we would love to have a video from each of you. And I want to tell you how you do this. I want you to join us, make a commitment, post, post in the chat. I'm making the commitment to walk every day for 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. I'm making the commitment. I'm making the commitment. I'm making the commitment. That's all I want to see in the chat. And then do it. Set aside the time every day to do it. This is what happened. This is what's happened with Barb. This is what's happened with uh, Yitka. They do it every day. Sarah's doing it now every day as well. And um, um, there's a few other people like Jody. Um, I think is walking every day. There's a there's a few other. Lydia I think is walking and, and chanting every day. So make the commitment. That's number one. Number two. Either take some photos 
just we just need just take one or two photos that's all you need you don't don't have to stress out about it at all just take a picture of something that you saw that you connected with um on your on your path so that christmas tree i had to go downtown because i had to have, I had to have some work done on my phone and um um so while i was waiting i was walking around <laughs> walking and chanting and took some pictures right um then um send those post those on facebook don't send them to me <laughs> i'm so sorry i don't have the time to save your photos and then post them on facebook you post them directly on your facebook page and invite your friends and family to take a 10 minute walk and create a field of love on Mother Earth. And um, tag love, peace, harmony, British Columbia. So if we can put that, um, if we can put that URL in the um, in the um, in the chat, that would be great. And then when you do that, once a day, I, I go in and I put them all on the news feed. And it's so amazing. Last year, we had people from all over the world, actually, uh, who were posting from Australia, from Scotland, from Austria, uh, from Germany, um, definitely from the States. We had different people in different parts of the States that were posting. So we would love to have your videos. We would love to create a video for you. And we would love to be able to share your video. And um, we want you to make a commitment so that you can join with us in helping to change the frequency, the vibration, the messages uh, that are going into Mother Earth. Because think about it. Every person who's stressed, every person who's anxious, every person who's depressed, every person who's angry, all of that is going into Mother Earth. But with love, peace, and harmony, because love, peace, and harmony is a source of, song it carries a source field source is the ultimate creator it carries source frequency and vibration it carries source love and light it carries the purest source uh, positive messages energy and matter to transform negative messages, energy, and matter. This is the power of love, peace, and harmony. I, told, I taught you today how to connect, how to say hello. Now it's up to you. We need you. We need each and every one of you to walk and chant every day. It doesn't matter that it's snowing out. It doesn't matter that it's raining out serve you just have to walk for 10 or 15 minutes serve humanity serve mother earth serve all souls help us to create a powerful field one step one note at a time So let me see, did people post? No, we do. We have lots of people making the commitment. Uh, Beverly we is do. Making, yeah, Beverly uh, is going to make the commitment. Uh, Anna Gelbert is making the commitment. Brianna O'Grady is making the commitment. Melissa Young is making the commitment. Oh, good. Shirley, yeah, Shirley L is making the commitment. She's in the Philippines, so that's wonderful. Send your pictures, Shirley. May is making the commitment. Brianna is making the commitment mm -hmm. and I uh, can't see if there's anybody else here. Um, Lydia is making the commitment. And she already walks though. Yeah. She already walks, right? Yeah. yeah. So quite a good number. Quite a good number. Okay. Um, and then the second commitment is you have to post. <laughs> Don't tell me, oh, I've been walking Mastery Amanda for five months. No, not enough. You need to post your pictures. 
uh, put them on Facebook and make sure that you tag. <laughs> you can tag me, um, but the best is if you tag love, peace, harmony. Did you post it, Sarah? Uh-huh. Um, yep, thank you. I see it now. Uh, love, peace, harmony, Facebook. Um, Facebook, love, peace, harmony, BC. Yeah. Um, tag, tag, uh, tag, love, peace, harmony, BC. Um, because then it's actually quite um, amazing to watch the. Oops, sorry. I turned on the video here. So then it's quite amazing. You can see at the end of the at the end of the day, you can see everybody's pictures. It's really beautiful after a while. All right. So thank you everyone for joining us today. Thank you for uh, making the commitment to walk. I look forward starting tomorrow to seeing uh, 13, 13 or what? Did, how many people were there? 20 something, 20 some uh, pictures on the Love, Peace, Harmony on the Love, Peace, Harmony page. Uh, it's been my great honor to be with you. It's been my great honor to share this with you. And so, so this is also what I want. Uh, we have one more video that we want to show you. Yeah. I almost forgot, Sarah. So what we're doing is we're going to, um, we're starting a map. And I think we're going to see if we can put this up on um, Love, Peace, Harmony. And we want to be able to put a pin <laughs> in your city. So we went back and just in um, just in, um, oh, I'm looking for the list. <laughs> so just in BC, it says east to west. Okay, Victoria, Sid- Sydney. We have Saanich, Vancouver, West Vancouver, North Vancouver, Richmond, Langley, Pitt Meadow, and Abbotsford. Uh, we want to cover the entire map with pins. And we want to cover the world with pins. So when we make, when you make a post, um, make sure to put the city. So whatever city or neighborhood you're in, um, and then we're, we're keeping track. Like I said, uh, um, Sarah's created this map, and, and uh, um, so we'll keep adding pins for the new cities uh, and new locations. Okay. Thank you, everyone. It's been so much fun to do this with you tonight. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I can't wait to see your pictures tomorrow. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you next Wednesday. Make sure you put it on your calendar. Love you all. Bye-bye.